Hi all. Uh, been a bit bashed up recently on ICC. I've got a new operating system on this computer as well. Um, let's see if I can uh, play a decent game. Play D4 here. Right. So is my d4 going to be weak if he plays like bishop g4? Can I get away with playing d5? Hmm, or h3? d5. I'll try d5. Um, that's something like bishop e2. Oh, I'm sacking c3 already. Great. C4 there. Maybe this isn't that bad. I hope. Some pressure on E7. If I make H3 to stop Bishop G4s. Bishop over here to g3 now. So what's a good plan in this position? If I can get the bishop there, will I have any compensation for being pawned down? Well, I think if e6 later there's d6 maybe. Uh, this might not be so bad with these two pawns. Queen c2, there's bishop f5 to watch out for, but at the moment there's bishop d3. If the bishops come off, well, I could maybe I could build up pressure on e7. Uh, all right, bishop d3. I'll do that. Maybe leave this bishop there for the moment. Taking that e7. The knight is out of play. That's another thing going for me, I think, in this position. So if I can double up rooks. Okay, so double up rooks. Now, maybe just to try and. Uh, I was going to play e6 and let's put this pin on my queen. I want bishop g3 first now. Okay, so if I play this, rook e1, e6, maybe. I don't know, that is a bit of a pain, e6. What about knight e5, just trying to get into these dark squares. Try that instead. Ah, so if queen of five of I've just taken knight c6, that looks nice. Okay, some dark square pressure, but he's got e6 coming to blow up my centre. Mind you, queen f3 takes queen f6. He could sack the exchange and play d4 maybe. That's not so clear. Uh, oh, he hasn't gone for that. That's good, okay, maybe I'll just put a bit more pressure on the position now. <clears throat> so maybe bishop, I can move the bishop back and queen c3 or something. Queen e3, there's knight c4. Ah, that's a pain. Queen g3, knight c4. Mm. Bishop moves back to say a1. Hmm. Okay, okay. What about just Queen C3 here for the moment? I hope that's okay. Queen C3. So what do I want to do? Rook E3 to try and evict Queen, then Rook F3. That's one plan. Maybe G4? No, <laughs> we can the King too much. That's odd. King F8, okay. I think Rook E3 now. Just play rook f3. Looks good. Oh, okay. Uh, if I move the bishop, oh, I have to move the bishop. Oh, there's rook f3 here. Hmm. Then maybe bishop takes f6. Ah, rook f3. Try that. 
I don't think bishop f6 works though. Uh, maybe rook f6. If queen g5 takes, takes, then bishop takes. Nope, that's nonsense. What am I talking about? Right, I have to move my queen back now. But if I just move back, he can't take on e5 with his queen because of that pin now. So wouldn't I just have rook takes e4 next? So this could be a problem for him. Uh, I hope. Queen moves, rook takes e4. I don't think the opening was quite right in this game. Uh, allowing the double pawns though. I think um, there are better ways to play against that delayed gambit that, that would have happened. Um, even if I, I do win this game after rook e4, it does seem to be a, be a piece up. Okay, if I take just one as queen, nothing. Uh, and then bishop f6 seems good enough. Or do I need to be more cautious? Bishop f6 takes, takes, no, it's not f7. It just seems an easy position to play because of rook e6 then. Oh, I'll go for it. Well, I hope I'm not being too complacent. That rook e6 here looks very uncomfortable for black. Well, if I bring some more pressure to bear, maybe h4. So yeah, this is the new operating system, a new um, mo movie maker I'll be using. Uh, um, I hope the volume's okay. Usually it's a bit silent on this particular laptop, so I'm hoping some improvement there. Uh, okay, how about d6? d6 or h5? Um, I think h5. Rook f8, queen g5, I'm still eyeing d8. Also attacking this knight, so rook f5 takes. Right, okay. So just queen g4 now. Or something else. Queen e3. Actually, I better get a move on. I haven't got that much time. Um, get this pawn going. Pawn to f6. And there's queen g5 coming in. Or rook e7. <coughs> I suppose he's got rook g8 check. Uh, he's getting very short on time as well. Okay, queen g5 now. Even if he took, took and rook g8, I'm just taking queen, so. I think I'll, I'll just do this. Or rook g8, I'll just take and rook takes d7. Okay, I'll just take, get both rooks. Okay, he's resigned. Well, let's have a look at that opening. So that was totally, that was not, that's not needed. Uh, after this, I think bishop b5 check is critical. It's the critical line. I've looked at this for a British Championship game in preparation. Um, and like taking in c4 or something is what you're supposed to do most of the time. But th this is just, this is not good. This seems to be a lot of strong pressure on d4. So, uh, um, threatening bishop g4 has got a very nice position here. My fractured pawn structure. So I'm just losing that c3 for nothing much here. But now, I don't know, it, it seemed to be getting more comfortable for 5 minute chess. It's playable this position, especially after getting the dark squares. He's, he's got problems now. There's, there's some compensation. So I'm getting the rook in, and he's losing a piece. And uh, that's sort of plain sailing after that, really. 
So, um, yeah, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.